Cocoon is an album by Richard Henshaw, the guitarist and occasional keyboardist of the great band Haken. This is his first solo album. It's an excellent progressive metal album with some great guest appearances from Ben Levin, Ross Jennings, Jordan Rudis, and more. For a good summary track, check out Twisted Shadows. Handed Denial are a Canadian female fronted progressive metal band. Redeemer is their 2019 album. It's a great album for fans of Protest the Hero, Tesseract, Periphery, Lauren's vocals are killer, and the guitar riffs are great too. Ginger released an EP called Micro and an LP called Macro this year. Both are amazing. Ginger is a female fronted progressive metalcore band. But they explore all sorts of different styles on this album, including reggae. All the songs are great, but I'll give a special shout out to Perennial from the Micro EP and Judgment and Punishment from the Macro LP. Check Ginger out, they're really impressive. He Is Legend released their sixth album, White Bat, in 2019. It's hard rock with southern rock and metalcore influences. Every album that they put out is amazing. They're also a great band to see live. Lots of energy. I don't know why they're not more popular, uh, they're seriously underrated. Check it out, I'm sure you'll be impressed. Distance Over Time by Dream Theater is a solid progressive metal album by one of the pioneers of progressive metal. Their 14th album, and while it's not their best album in their large catalog, they're amazing albums. I'd say at least it's not in their bottom five. If you like awesome guitar riffs, guitar solos, catchy melodies, this is for you. Opeth released their 13th album, Encoda Venonum, in 2019. And like their last three albums, this one features no more death growls. It's all clean singing, and is more inspired by the 1970s progressive rock sound, rather than Opeth's earlier death metal sound. Which is fine, because Michael's vocals are great, the album has great guitar parts and great songs. My one critique is that the opening track is by far the weakest on the album, it's barely a song at all, it's a bit more of an intro. It's three and a half minutes and a pretty repetitive and boring part, and I would have made it at least two minutes shorter. Uh, the rest of the album is great and worth listening to over and over again. Periphery is one of the bands that popularized the gent style of progressive metal. It was characterized by low tunings, usually with seven string guitars and palm muted polyrhythmic chugging riffs. Their album Hail Stan is another amazing addition to their catalog. It boldly opens with an almost 17 minute long song uh, that it alternates between intense, harsh screaming vocals and excellent, clean, high pitched singing. Hail Stan continues their tradition of releasing killer albums. Terraformer is the third album by Thank You Scientist. It's a progressive rock album with jazz fusion and metal influences. 
They commonly feature horns in their music. They have amazing guitar parts. Their vocalist does this high pitch singing like Coheed and Cambria. Terraformer is a great album, just like every other album in their catalog. Fear Inocula is the first Tool album in 13 years. It did very well commercially, hitting number one on the Billboard 200 the week it came out, dethroning Taylor Swift to be the top album in sales that week. This is unheard of in progressive metal. Musically, it's also a very good album. Fear Inoculum, Numa, Invincible, Descending, Culling Voices, and Tempest are all songs that are over 10 minutes long, have great guitar riffs, bass riffs, drum parts, and vocal lines. Tool really knows how to run with a riff. They turn it inside out, they throw in some polyrhythms and time signature changes masterfully without sounding too jarring. Chocolate Chip Trip is an interesting instrumental drum solo song. The digital version of the album also has three instrumental interview tracks that are under four minutes in length, but I could honestly do without those, and they would have been fine to just remove those from the album in my opinion. Also, not too sure how I feel about the high-pitched opening noise on Fear Inoculum. I would have removed that as well. Otherwise, the album's all gold. So Devin Townsend has created a wide variety of great music. From extreme metal and strapping young lad to country rock with casualties of cool. I consider most of his solo albums as progressive metal, but he has a couple ambient noise albums as well. Empath is an album that combines his many styles into a roller coaster ride. It's mostly progressive metal with a lot of symphonic influences and various other styles. Uh, Castaway sets the stage with birds and waves in the background, like you found yourself stranded on an island. Then Genesis comes in hard, and it's the best summary song to showcase the variety of sounds you're about to hear on the album. Spirits Will Collide comes in, has a bit of an Enya sound. Then the next two are more of it, like this typical progressive metal. Hear Me is the most extreme metal song on the album and it strangely features a guest appearance from Chad Kroger of Nickelback. Why is a beautiful song that could be in a Broadway musical. It features an amazing vocal performance from Devin and he shows he's truly one of the greatest vocalists of our time. Borderlands has the most ambient sounds, uh, and Requiem is a choir piece with music that sounds like a film score. Finally, the last song, Singularity, is a 23 and a half minute epic to close out the album. All in all, it's a beautiful and amazing journey that continues to be surprising after many listens.